Hi, I'm Mishdi Max and I'm here to share the makeup I wore to my Christmas dinner using holographic gold glitter for my winged eyeliner, plus a bit of green on the lower lash line and long wearing red glossy lips to finish up the trio of Christmas colors. Sorry for the croaky voiceover, but the other day my voice just crapped out. First I primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. It has a slight shimmer to it in its champagne colored base. Then I got out one of my Christmas presents, the Makeup Forever Flesh Palette, and I used my favorite finger to pick up a touch of the gold cream and apply a light layer to my eyelid, giving a bit more of a yellow gold tone to the base. And I love this thing already, I can't wait to play around with it some more. I grabbed my Inglot Freedom Palette and took the Sugar Pill Large Eyeshadow Brush and this shadow, number 34 AMC Shine, to apply over the gold base. I'm using a loose fluffy brush to lay down a light layer of this gold eyeshadow. Next I took this bronzy shade, number 405 Pearl, with the same brush and lightly dusted it onto the outer half of my lid and a little into the crease. I went back to the light gold shade and blended the two shadows together. Now onto the first naked palette with the Sigma E25 blending brush. I chose the shadows Naked and Buck to apply into my crease. I grabbed both of the shadows at the same time and ran them most of the way through the crease together because they work really well that way. Then I grabbed the Naked 3 palette and tamed some strange with the Crown Brush BK14 Deluxe Oval Shadow and applied that to my brow bone, plus I also used it to tone down the crease shades. To make sure the crease stays defined enough, I took more Naked and Buck on the same blending brush and ran that into my deep crease. I took out my NARS Albatross Cheek Highlighter and a Sigma E46 Shader Inner Corner Brush and used it to highlight my inner corner, also blending the product up into my inner crease. I pinched off a bit more strange and worked that into the inner socket to cover the darkness there as well as blend out the gold highlight. I swept up my Urban Decay 24-7 liquid eyeliner in El Dorado to create a winged eyeliner. I started from the center and lined my lash line and I took the wing out from my lower lash line, gave it a nice upwards angle, then dragged the line in from that point towards the rest of my lash line. To give the liner a festive slap in the face, I added a drop of Illamasqua sealing gel to the back of my hand then sprinkled some of NYX's hot gold glitter out and mixed that into a paste with the Sugar Pill eyeliner brush. When it was a decent consistency, I layered it over the gold liner. I also dabbed some dry glitter over the top to saturate the whole thing. This glitter has an awesome holographic effect with red and green flashing through it, which works really well for a Christmas look. Using glitter with a mixing medium really helps reduce the mess, but either way I used these simple sensitive facial wipes to remove any fallout and clean up the shape of my eyeshadow on the outer edge under the wing. And I also cleaned up my hand. After the glitter fest, I went back to the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and used a cotton bud to grab a touch of the green cream, rubbed the excess off on the back of my hand, and then ran the green along my lash line, also blending out the bottom with my finger and the other end of the cotton bud to give it a smooth edge. I used Albatross again and took it over the first third of the green with the tiny Sigma brush. Next, for some bright Christmassy fun, I picked up the Urban Decay Electric Palette and chose Freak to layer over the green cream along the lash line. I blended out the bottom of the green with some Albatross on the same brush for a nice transition and made sure to blend the inner corner gold into the green nicely. I curled my lashes making sure to pump down at the roots in the middle and towards the end. Then I coated my lashes top and bottom with Covergirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I applied two to three coats since I didn't want to wear false lashes. I went with Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in Nude for the waterline to make the eyes appear wider. You can also clean off any oils or residual shadow off the waterline with a cotton bud before you apply the flesh colored pencil if you desire. Onto brows, I used Benefit Browsings in Light, taking the wax side first on the little angled brush from the kit and then I set that with the powder side to finish off a natural brow look. I cleaned off any fallout, then to hydrate my skin I sprayed a healthy amount of MAC Fix Plus. I went with the usual suspects for my face, namely Benefit Porefessional to prime my face, Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in 51 Light Vanilla buffed in with a Sedona Lace 928 Synthetic Flat Top Brush, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 blended in with a Sedona Lace 224 Synthetic Small Tapered Brush plus my foundation brush, and to set all that, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light with the Sigma F40 Large Angled Brush, and for the hard to reach places, my Real Techniques Setting Brush. On my cheeks, I used the NARS Blush in Orgasm and the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I combed that down with my powder brush and blended out the cheeks, giving a nice soft cheery flush. I went to Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt to highlight my cupid's bow and blended that out with my powder brush. 
I used my Hakuhodo S113 highlight brush to add a bit more gold to my cheekbones. To set my face up for the whole evening, I used Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and headbanged into the mist. I used a makeup wipe to clean any foundation or powder off my lips, then to make sure my lips last through a full Christmas dinner, I went all out with many layers, first priming with MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. Then I lined and filled in my lips with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 8C, and while drawing all over with this red pencil, I couldn't help but sing along to my Led Zeppelin album. If you're wondering, this song is called Black Dog, and it's actually the first song I ever learnt on bass. To layer over that red pencil, I chose the two Lime Crime Velveteens. First I went in with Swayberry and I applied that to the centre of my lips. Then I ran the darker one, Red Velvet, around the perimeter. I created a gradient lip by pressing my lips together to blend the shades, and bringing the darker red onto the lighter one slightly. Not to mention singing a touch too. All these layers and long wearing products made my lip colour last through the whole shebang, turkey, vegetables and dessert. I pulled out MAC Cherry Lip Pencil to define the outer edge of my lips and add a little more contrast and precision there. I used the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss in Anthurium from the Maleficent Collection which I added to the centre and blended that on top of all those layers of long wearing red. I removed the excess with the finger pop method. I fluffed my hair, enjoying the last of my music, and popped out my drays because it's nearly time to go. And for a finishing touch, I went back to my brow kit and used a pointed cotton bud to grab some of the wax side and applied it to my beauty spot to darken it up because the foundation really dulls down the intensity. I pressed it with my finger so the outline wasn't too stark and made it more natural looking. And that be it for the makeup I wore to my Christmas Day dinner. This look could also work for any holiday party or New Year's if you're still in that festive feel. I hope you enjoyed this fun, glittery holiday look and subscribe for more tutorials. Click the little boxes if you want to see other tutorials of mine.